Hello students, my name is Sumit Mehta. So today in this lecture, we will discuss about limits of polynomial and rational functions. Okay. So now let's say a function is said to be a polynomial function if f of x is zero function or if fx is equals to a naught plus a one x plus a two x square dash 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 up to a n x n. Okay, so this is the polynomial for it is said to be a polynomial functions. Okay, so where a n a i s are the real numbers and a n is not equal to zero and limit x tends to a x should be equals to a okay hence for limit x tends to a x square is equals to limit x tends to a x times x this is equals to a square so this is how we define the limits in polynomial now let's say limit for this polynomial limit x tends to a fx is a naught plus a one x plus a two x square plus a n x bar n. Okay, so the limit will be get separated. X tends to a a naught plus limit x tends to a a one x plus limit x tends to a a two x square plus limit x tends to a a n x bar n okay so this is a naught this is a constant and this we get a one limit x tends to a x a two comes out because it is a constant x square plus limit x tends to a a n comes out x bar n so from this student we get a naught a one a plus a two a square if you put the value of x equal a plus a n a to power n okay so this is equals to f of a means function of a now this is limits of polynomial now let's discuss function of rational functions students now we will discuss about a rational function if function f is said to be a rational function if fx is equals to gx over hx okay where gx and hx are polynomial such that h x not equals to zero. So clearly, students, limit x tends to a f x equal limit x tends to a g h over h x, or this limit gets split in numerator and denominator. Okay. h of x so this is g of a from the polynomial functions derivation and this is h of a so this is how we need find out these two limits of rational polynomials okay or rational function now let us discuss some questions based on it okay and in 
next class we will discuss some questions based on it and then further we will discuss about limits of trigonometric functions okay so stay tuned students for next class on questions based on polynomial and rational functions thank you